Instead of telling you how modern Madden sucks for the 9,252nd time, let's look at a couple of games that have little to no recognition or fanfare. What better place to start than the 3DS? The very originally named Madden Football was the launch title for the 3DS, which isn't known for its football games, to put it lightly. You know, let's check it out. Well, right off the bat, there's a cause for concern because the credits are an option on the main menu as if it's a feature in the game. I guess they had to fill out the menu due to lack of features, but who voluntarily seeks out and watches the credits? Yeah, the credits. Let's go, baby. One of the things going into this game is if Madden's gameplay can be transferred over to the 3DS. And I think they did a pretty good job. The catch is made. Breaks the tackle. Touchdown, New York. From running to passing to play selecting, this is a pretty fateful job of creating Madden on the go. I'm honestly shocked. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. The game utilizes the second screen on the 3DS to showcase an overhead view of icons that represent the players. It's pretty neat, especially when replays are shown. In order to keep the game as simple as possible for newcomers, there's this thing called game flow, which means the best player will be picked for that certain scenario. So it's essentially ask Madden without actually asking Madden. And finally, you have this little quick time event thing that comes up. He rolls out to his right. This all works well and good, but it's time to get to the bad stuff, which is essentially everything else. As far as gameplay goes, all of the action is not captured on screen. If you're playing defense, this is fine if you just want to rush in with defensive ends or nose tackles. But if you're trying to play quarterback, you're pretty much just playing on Stevie Wonder mode because you can't see anything. Where'd you fucking go? Also, the game keeps trying to make interception attempts without me doing anything. See, like, I didn't just do that right there. The game did. I get trying to make the game more welcoming to newcomers, but I think people play video games to, you know, actually play video games and not have the AI randomly chime in. The commentary is fine, but every time I run the ball, Gus Johnson says there's plenty of room to run, but there never is. He takes it out left. There isn't really much content here. As a matter of fact, this is like that time Beavis and Butthead were in the desert. There's just nothing here. Cut it out, one hole. Exhibition offers a five on five mode, which is all right. There's no franchise. You only have a season mode instead. And it is the most barren season mode you can possibly play in any sports video game. There's no fantasy draft. There's no stat tracking. There's no trades. You can't even simulate games. Death taxes, and the ability to simulate games. Those should be the three guarantees in life. Now it's just death, taxes, and you liking my videos. The biggest insult here is that this game has no multiplayer options. You can walk up to me right now and smack me in the face, and it still wouldn't be as insulting as making a football game with no multiplayer options. EA does a good job of bringing their football game over to 3DS, at least gameplay wise, but this just seems like a damn tech demo that they decided to release so EA can make some profit. The game was sabotaged from the beginning because it was released in March, which was well after the football season, and only a couple of months away from the next Madden game. The game got panned hard and Madden never saw a return to the 3DS again. The next game I'll talk about is a game I can't get a hold of, unfortunately, because it's delisted, so I won't spend a ton of time on it. Madden Arcade. I've played this game in the past. It's a game that injects the players with more steroids than Barry Bonds and lets them do some pretty boring stuff, honestly. It's a hybrid of both simulation and arcade Madden gameplay. But there isn't much arcade stuff going on here. The main thing is these power-ups. They range from turbo speed to slowing down speed to TN's multi-form technique to getting an extra down on offense to the most bullshit power-up in any game you could ever play. The ability to literally switch the score. 
This is number one bullshit. The gameplay is streamlined. There's only four options to pick a play, and it's five on five football only. It's okay, but not really anything to write home about. It suffers from the same problems that the 3DS game had, where there's no additional features to keep you coming back. It's like a demo that you paid for, or paid considering it's delisted. After 10 minutes, the game just isn't fun anymore. If it's not fun, why bother? This would be the last we'd ever hear of Madden Arcade. Years later, EA Sports would release an NFL Blitz game where you can't hit anyone after the whistle. That's like having Kool-Aid with no sugar, peanut butter with no jelly, ham with no burger. Damn! Many Madden games have been on the Wii, but we'll look at Madden 09 All Play just because it has a different name. Now, I already know what you're thinking. This is just a dumbed down version of Madden that has gimmicky Wii controls. And you'd be 100% WRONG! Well, not really. There's gimmicky Wii controls here, but the game isn't really dumbed down at all. The Wii games aim for a younger audience, so that's why on the cover they have young up and coming superstar Brett Favre. I think the number on his jersey represents how many times he's retired. All jokes aside, the game is fun. In terms of gameplay, it's the Madden you all know and love, but with weak controls. The pass off. This the wide receiver breaks free of the defender. The 40. The motion stuff here is fine and never feels like it overstays its welcome. You could do stuff like pulling the Wiimo back to hike the ball, pushing it forward to pass, and thrusting it forward for bigger hits. It works well. There are some other things you could do like this call your shots thing. With the Wiimote, you can draw out a route for your receivers, but not just one receiver, every receiver. It's completely overpowered as shit, but hey, it's a Wii game. It's fun to use. Then there's the greatest feature that every sports game should come out with. Of course, I'm talking about the Telestrator, baby, yeah. Look at this, I'm rushing one, two, three, four, five, six guys at the quarterback. Call the funeral service because it's safe to assume this guy has a date with a coffin. But here's the thing, I lied because I actually sent eight people at the quarterback. Give me that fucking rock! Give me that! Okay, here's a scoring play. You see this guy, this guy right here? Don't pay any attention to him. I don't even know why I pointed him out. This guy over here though, He's gonna run straight across the field here. And this man right here, he's the king. You, you see the crown I drew? That's a crown. This man's gonna throw the football over here. See the football I drew? That, that's a football. He's gonna catch it and he's gonna go into the end zone for the touchdown. See, look at that, just how I drew it up. The main area where this game succeeds is where this one fails. It's the game features. You have everything you'd expect here. You have all those fun minicam games, from quarterback passing to running to stopping the run. You have a multitude of mini games. You could play two on two, have a kicking competition and a yards competition. You have five on five with big old heads. Go make a play. You have franchise mode, and it's actually a franchise mode with most of the bells and whistles you'd expect. You even have the superstar career mode. Look, you can even take an IQ test. Sixty percent. Well, you guys aren't here for my academic prowess, I hope. Finally, you have party mode, which I'd love to show you, but two players are required and I don't have any friends. Looks like you're a born loser! Madden 09 All Play on the Wii is a really good game that has a ton of content that'll keep you busy. It's not the most visually appealing, Ew. but hey, it's the Wii. The game is good where it counts. Madden would continue to be posted on the Wii with less and less improvements until Madden 13. The Wii U would come out and nobody would even notice. And now you have the Switch, which is actually good. But no games from EA. I mean, if you can give freaking Stadia a goddamn Madden game, I'm sure the Switch could get something. <laughs> But anyway, Madden games have been getting worse and worse over the years. It's nice to look and talk about something that's a little different. There's a moral to this story, and the moral is... Every game should come with a damn Telestrator. Come on, EA. But I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a Telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. Thank you guys for watching.
I'm not going to tell you to like the video or anything because you're all grown. Do your thing. Check out my other stuff if you want. And see ya.